Hello everybody. Welcome to Simplified in 5. Today we are going to talk about recursive mutex in C++11. So let's see what is a recursive mutex. It is a synchronization primitive just like mutex. But the difference, uh, different quality or unique quality that recursive mutex has is it allows the thread to lock the same mutex multiple times. Thus it offers a recursive ownership of the same mutex. It is also called as reentrant mutex. Now uh, the important methods like just like mutex it has uh, lock, unlock and try lock. So with lock uh, the when you try to lock the recursive mutex uh, the program is blocked if the mutex is locked by some other thread. But if the same mutex is uh, try, try to be locked uh, by the same thread then the call is successful similar with the uh, try lock. So, uh, if you try to lock the mutex uh, and if it is not available, uh, the try lock method will return false if mutex is not available. So how it works? Uh, basically a calling thread calls lock or try lock for the first time to get the access to the recursive mutex. Then uh, same thread can lock or try lock uh, on the recursive mutex uh, to gain new level of ownership of the recursive mutex so this is uh, very you know you know unique with the uh, recursive mutex to own end the ownership uh, you have to call unlock but there should be equal number of calls to lock and unlock so just like mutex uh, when a thread owns a recursive mutex all other threads would get uh, would be blocked uh, when if they try to you know call lock on the recursive mutex object and if any other thread calls try log they would get a false value return uh, so and another important thing is uh, the upper limit or how many times you can uh, call lock on the recursive mutex uh, it's not known but once that limit is reached um, lock will throw a system error and try lock will start turning false so you can try uh, calling lock and uh, unlock uh, in the same thread multiple times but lock may fail after uh, some limit which is not known yet so when should you be using uh, a recursive mutex so let's say uh, you don't know about recursive mutex and you want to enter a recursive method so what you would do here so let's say you have a method called as enter recursion what you would create a method called as enter recursion in that it's like an entry point for uh, you to enter the recursive method what you would do here is you will first lock the mutex enter the recursive method which would be calling itself again and again and then at the end uh, once control comes out of that uh, function you would be unlocking the mutex so uh, you should be using recursive mutex in such cases where you know uh, your function has a critical section as well as it's calling itself recursively. Uh, let's see. Uh, so here you can say with uh, now with uh, instead of writing a new function called as enter recursion, uh, you can have a method called as recursive method, uh, and in that you can call recursive mutex lock and unlock, and it's okay so that it can lock itself. Uh, many times so now let's see a simple example where uh, you know uh, you are trying to calculate a factorial and you call this method recursively so this may not be an ideal example but this kind of should give you an idea uh, how the you know, recursive mutex works so basically here uh, you have already declared a recursive mutex and you can use log guard uh, which is a uh, stl template class on the re on this recursive mutex so uh, when you enter the if loop uh, you know you are going to call uh, factorial recursively if your i is uh, greater than or equal to 1 so uh, here you can say um, you are calling recursive you are locking the mutex uh, before entering your critical section and uh, log guard template class will automatically unlock uh, this recursive mutex when you get out of if loop this uh, this is how you can uh, achieve the uh, recursion recursion and uh, for a critical section so although this is not an ideal example but it should give you an idea 
so we saw so these are the main things we should be knowing about recursive matrix we saw an example we saw when we should be using recursive matrix we saw how the recursive matrix works and we saw some important methods and we saw uh, what is a definition for a recursive matrix so thanks for watching and hope this helps